According to Ray Kurzweil, everything is an information technology. And it was Alec Ross, the renowned innovation expert, who said that land was the raw material of the agricultural age, iron was the raw material of the industrial age, and now data is the raw material of the information age. It's this data that's creating and being clustered in real time to enhance business performance, enhance customer experiences, and achieve better insights than ever before. It was Andrew Ng who said that data is analogous to fuel, just as a rocket ship is analogous to the predictive modeling algorithms that take in data and allow us to transcend our own limitations and evolve as a species because now we're creating new platforms of innovation that are bringing us forward in the modern world. It was Kevin Kelly who said that technology wants data, technology wants to understand, technology wants to create new knowledge as it clusters new information within the technium. And it was in his new book, The Inevitable, where he said that Google has acquired 13 different companies to bolster their competitive advantage. But it is a misconception to think that Google is leveraging artificial intelligence to bolster its search capabilities when really it's using its search capabilities to bolster its AI and machine learning competitive advantage. Brands are now starting to understand this at scale, just how personal brands understand the meaning and the value of data as well. Just as the musician Zoe Keating had mentioned that instead of getting paid royalties, she prefers to have access to her own customer's information so that she can connect with them in more meaningful ways. Brands need to understand this data capture strategy. Brands need to understand that data is the new currency. With blockchain, coming about with new types of emerging technologies being integrated in real time through APIs and business intelligence tools, brands need to understand that data is the new competitive advantage. Data is the new type of currency, and data will even outlast the platforms that created them. As Tim Berners-Lee, pioneer of the World Wide Web, had said, data is the new currency because data creates new knowledge that will allow us to move and propel ourselves into the future. It's data that is going to allow us to transcend our own limitations.